What do we need? It's really important. We need this rotor in the right position. So this tip, this is what I was talking about earlier. The tip of the suction end of the rotor. This being the suction end, discharge out this end. We just put this just above the shelf. And we have to set the new ro rotor back in place. We'll put some of the parts close by for assembly. We need a retainer to hold it in position. And we need, we need the rotor itself, gate rotor blade. So, we put the smaller bearing assembly on first. It's the reverse from what we took it apart. So the, the large one goes on last. You have to have this rotor in the right spot. Okay, now we're gonna put it back in. We've got the rotor in the right spot. See how I'm doing it on a bit of an angle like this? Gives a little more room for it to get into the groove and just set into place. If you try to do it straight, you won't get it in. You won't, you just won't get it in. Now we'll put our retainer in. It just keeps it from falling out. On this side, it's not a much of a problem because it'll hold in place. The other side, maybe a little more difficult. So then we, we get our our small bearing assembly. We get our bolts for it. So this is where we want to be careful that we position this properly so that we don't damage this bearing. So we're going to go underneath here. So we're going to move this back up into position now. And you can see because it's not lined up well, it doesn't want to go in. Okay. So I'm going to have to just kind of wiggle out a little bit so that it goes in. You can't force it. Get a bolt in there. Now it can't drop out. Now we can remove this if we want or we can leave it in. It doesn't matter because it, it can't go anywhere now. Once that's in, it can't go anywhere. And we get the large bearing assembly. But I have to change the way, I have to change this now. Because I have to put a different assembly on it. Because we have to push it on now instead of pulling it. I'm going to remove my tool. This one's larger now, so it covers the bearing. So it'll push this into position. So I'll put that on there. So what we're going to do. Let's put it in place. New O-ring goes in there. So I've got some different bolts that I'm going to attach this bar into here. So we're going to put this pusher inside here. It'll sit in there like that. And I have to put this bolt down here. And you may have to, you can either use a longer bolt or you can, it'll just sit down here and we just have to push it down a little bit or use a threaded rod.
then we'll just go down and push that into position. It pushes the bearing into position. It may slide back in without that. Okay, take this out. You get our bearing retainer. Goes inside here. That'll hold it in position. These bolts in. We'll use, look up my chart. Okay, we just put these uh, retainer back in with the bolts with blue Loctite and torque to 16 pounds. Using the right socket. So at this point, we're not, I'm not turning this yet because we're going to put the cover back on. We've got this cover. And we remember we have the shims in the back. What do the shims do? They lift this against this back plate to give us our shelf clearance. And these were calculated based on this machine. So we can stick those in place there. Okay, we'll get the bolts. Because I'm going to put the center ones in first. We'll put these center ones in. These right here. So, so we'll line this up. New O-ring goes in there. See it, it moved a little bit, so. Because I want to put all these in first. So make sure that's all lined up. I'll be able to turn this now and now I'm return I'm turning the inner part here okay then I can put one of these in here now it's in position tighten these up What, what has that done? It has pulled that bearing housing up. That whole assembly is pulled up to give us a shelf clearance. Okay, then we remove our retainer. We check to see if it's, everything's turning good. All set. Then we Get ready to put our side cover on with a new gasket and close that end up.